Hello Pisces! Welcome to your Avalon Rituals reading for July 2020, this time with the Linomore and my little singing bowl that is already in front of me for a little tuning into the energies and a bit of relaxation. I just did your tarot reading. <laughs> so what is already online is the tarot reading for you guys. So if you're watching this, you might want to watch also the tarot I did for you. And it's super interesting and there's something going on in your life for July, but today I'm well, in this video I'm gonna use the Lenormand cards for further information and I really feel like I need further information because your tarot was already super interesting, a lot of change, a lot of new things coming in. So I'm uh, I'm really burning now to, to get more information about you guys. So what I want to do now is having a little tuning in, which means you can now close your eyes for a minute or two and just relax and listen to the sound of the singing bowl. If you do not want to receive this, just skip to three minutes. This is where your card reading is going to start. Again, I'm super excited to see what the Lenormand is saying. Also, the Lenormand gives always a really good insight about some facts that uh, the tarot cannot give. So let's turn the camera around so you can see your cards as well. Okay, um, you are in this card deck as well, here indicated by this female person, the lady, the male person is your love interest or your the most important person in your life at the moment, uh, no matter of their gender. So it could be a friend, a colleague or yeah, your love interest. So the first things I see, you are at the end of a cycle. There might be a lot of karmic life lessons that are now coming like to some sort of conclusion um, and everything is like going to one point where it's now like okay now I feel like I have learned this 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 and now it's like bang it's like you feel like you are right at the beginning of a new chapter in your life and this is also there is a lot of new beginnings and um, also some sort of ending energy in your tarot reading um, Let's have a look because I do want to see what these new beginnings are about. So, okay, we do have work here. So it might be for some of you guys, this is a lucky new beginning in your love, uh, in your, not a love life, in your work life here. Um, also, there is, again, there's a karmic situation, some life lesson where something needs to be let go of. Um, this is um yeah this might be related to some sort of creativity beauty harmony compliments appreciation so something that is quite beautiful here 
um, because the flowers are only really a good card but then we do have the burden here or um, responsibilities and something that needs to be let go of maybe you have too many responsibilities maybe it's time to really rethink your commitments and your promises that you do and this is also showing um, here because this is a decision and it's in the house it's in the house of the ring so the ring is talking about a promise a commitment uh, of course this could be um, a love relationship but also any other co um, contracts that you have or relationships partnerships i do feel like there is a decision in with those um, topics um, i can also see this here because also the ring is next to the child and the child again is a new beginning something that is starting new and it seems like there's a destined new beginning in your relationships or your partnerships or some contracts um, we do have the snake here so it might be that there was a complicated situation in one of those commitments in one of those promises that you gave or contracts but this is ending too so it seems like work and partnerships and probably even love life there is something ending and something new coming and this is also what showed up already in the um in the tarot actually so let's have a further look um this male person here um there is the scythe in his house and also he is in the house of the decision so it seems like you're gonna like someone is cutting him or herself off or something that is being cut short um, and this is a decision uh, that is going to be made and i do feel like this person might make a decision um, again could be your chef could be um, a friend a lover whoever this is i do feel like this person is gonna make a decision to cut him herself off or to to let go of something and this is what i saw in the tarot as well that it's not your time to make a lot of decisions or to make a lot of heavy big life decisions but i felt like there was this um one um a pile of cards that said what is it that you should do and there was the child the playful approach to things that are going to happen and i saw already that something would end and i saw already that um there is a decision but i felt back then already this is not necessarily a decision that you are going to make here but i do feel it's time to rethink your commitments and to really think um, about where you want to or what you what it is that you want to commit yourself to um, this could also of course be a project is there anything where you feel like okay I'm now following uh, my heart and I'm gonna do this thing that I always wanted to do so rethink really what is it that you tie yourself to or that you commit to um, we do have the ring in the house of conflict so again there were some conflict let me see where are the ruts they are here um, conflict also in terms of some sort of harmony I do see conflicts here between you and this other person which is probably why this, uh, why this other person is gonna cut something off the best case scenario if this is a relationship it could mean that um, the best case scenario probably for you if you really love this person and want to be with this person is having those conflicts that are also conflicting with the inner peace and harmony between you guys um, which could refer this person maybe having the snake here and because the snake could be another person in the relationship but this is ending now so maybe this person is making a decision to cut something away and short which doesn't need to be cutting him or herself off you but could be cutting someone else finally off and being like okay that, that's done now um, but I do feel this other person is somehow making a decision here um, in your love life uh, it might be that you are going to get some knowledge about something in your love life or that there's something hidden in your love life having now a look onto the love we do have um, lucky solutions so something is really opening up there's a key moment in your love life we do have the snake here the snake can just simply stand for complications and delays so it might be that your love life was a little bit complicated 
Um, again, this could refer to another woman next to the love, and that is between your love and the commitment, the other woman or complications. But again, it might be that for the most of you, this other person is cutting this other uh, woman or person off and is clearing out things between you guys. But of course, that could be work the other way around too. If this is not another woman, then this can simply stand for complications in love life and relationships or partnerships. But again, I do feel like there are going to be happy, uh, very successful solutions and very lucky solutions. There is also something related to trust, loyalty and uh, peace and harmony related to your love life or to your emotional life. So um, maybe there's someone helping you. It could be an older person that is coming in and helping you. Interestingly, now that I said this, I remember this was a possibility in the tarot as well so again you might want to check the tarot as well um, in your life we do have or in your house we do have the mice mice is talking about the fear of loss or maybe something is nagging on you so having a look around the cards here we do see there is some sort of sort of meaningful conversations that you are going to have we do have worries something nagging on you maybe the fear of loss or something that you will lose clearing out blockages is here as well a topic and the interesting thing is clearing out blockages and the, those fears and worries is something that connects you to this other person so it might be that you're working together to clear this out and to clear the air basically we have a positive change with this person there might be some a form of like a, a, call, a phone call of this person or a lot of messages that are being sent that are causing or that and there is a positive transformation with the stalk here so maybe this communication is um, bringing this um, uh, positive change um, also it could be that there's some sort of nervousness stress with this person um, maybe this person is anxious but also we do have a positive change here um, interestingly this is the house of the anchor which means work and we do have contracts here contracts communication paperwork um, related to yeah related to work paperwork related to work so again this is another for me another um, confirmation that there are new beginnings maybe new negotiations in your work life as well the work is here in the house of the garden or the park which is the public so it might be that you that your work life is somehow related to the public we do again have here a new beginning maybe a lot of communication uh, around this topic it could also mean nervousness and stress of course i do feel like there is a very destined situation a karmic situation also in your uh, work life something needs to be let go of here and we do have some worries and the fear of loss it might be that something um, is being shortened uh, or cut away um, in your work life as well and then we do have the same it's so interesting it really seems like what i just said basically in the in the tarot reading it all shows up here and we see there is a lot of change in your work life in your partnership life uh, complicated situations maybe here in love life and partnership decisions that other people are going to make here and i feel like the best thing you can do is really keep your playful approach and keep a light heart um, in this in these times of of change and remember you are at the end of a cycle so there's literally a whole new cycle in front of you and um, sometimes everything needs to be shaken up a little bit in order for you to uh, or in order for the things that are not in alignment with who you are or with your path or your true essence um, need to fall away and this could be quite a um, an unsettled feeling when things are falling away but again you are literally at the end of a cycle something new is just about to start and i do feel a lot of new is just about to start for you and this refers to partnerships love and work having a look onto those cards it might be that there is a contract ending or a contract that is stopping in some 
way or a partnership that is ending a partnership that is stopping uh, we do have the bear here bear is a very influential person this could be literally a chef or a coach um, and something here ending with a specific person related to your stability and your work life let's have a look at the finances that, that are done they are here okay I do feel in your financial life, which is related to the public as well, it's a little bit of an up and down as well, which of course, if you're going through such a big transformation here in basically every part of your life, then this does make sense as well. I do feel with the moon, it's an up and down. Uh, there's something stagnant or stopping. Um, it might be that there is is a situation with someone in authority or an influential person um, and we have the journey here so maybe you're doing maybe you are the leader of a journey and maybe this is what is at the moment a little bit stuck because you're leading um, you are um, how do you say this a guide um, a, a journey how do you say this a journey guide a travel guide that could be the case for some of you maybe this is a literal meaning of a travel guide with at the moment is not really happening so there's a little bit of an up and down and also this refers to finances coming in through the public which of course could be that you receive financial help from the public as well um, but in general the finances here are in the house of the tree so finances will stabilize. This is the house of finances. So finances can come in through uh, spirituality. Also 16, the star is talking about clarity. So I do feel like your finances are going to stabilize and will clear again. And just having a little look onto the last four cards. There's something in your life that you will gain clarity about and you will have a meaningful conversation about this and i feel like then you're leaving a chapter behind let me know if that resonated with you so leave a like or a comment or subscribe to the channel and um, make sure to uh, check your tarot reading as well if you want your own personal reading drop me a message or just book a reading with me on avalonrituals.com and um, yeah, looking forward to the next readings with you guys as usual. Sending you so much love and blessings from Avalon.